When high school graduates head off to college, they often overlook the health risks of college life. So who better to offer advice about reducing those risks than students who've been there? Consumer problem solver Connie Thompson talked to local college students about five health risks that every freshman should be wary of. Yes, and clearly there are more than five. But these are five in no particular order that most people don't think about it. We talked to people who chalk things up as maybe a college freshman's rite of passage, but students with years of college under their belts are all too familiar with the hidden and not so hidden health risks of college life. For many high school graduates, the transition to college means more freedom. Translation, a lot less oversight from mom, dad, and other adults. You're responsible for your own well-being. You're responsible for everything that happens to you and the people around you. Um, and that can be kind of difficult, uh, especially when you're only 18. Health risk number one, not enough sleep, which can lead to reduced focus, poor performance, increased illness, depression, and obesity. How did grad student Lauren True adjust? I think for me, part of it was just making sure that I was taking classes that I was interested in. That way I was more likely to not procrastinate studying until the middle of the night. It was College health risk number two is too much sitting in class and elsewhere. Too much sitting is linked to high blood pressure, diabetes, anxiety, and excess body fat, which leads to risk number three, weight gain. In one study by Auburn University, 70% of the students gained weight over four years. So before you hit campus, grad student Spencer Winberry says, well, have an exercise have to, plan. If you're in high school and you're in some sort of athletics club there, but you don't bring that to college, you at least have to keep the habit. Risk number four, alcohol and drugs. Don't feel like you have to go out drinking just because a bunch of other people are doing it. You don't want to screw up the chance that you have here. And that, I mean, that's really hard to get instilled in an 18 year old's mind, but it's definitely important. Finally, excess stress, a college risk that if left unchecked can ultimately lead to a weakened immune system, depression, obesity, heart disease, and mental health problems. College students who've been there say coping with college stress is another reason to get regular exercise and build a network of friends that share positive, healthy interests and can offer you support. Yeah, surround yourself around good people that That's can right. help you out. And then we do know that there are a six, seven, eight, nine, ten on that sure. list. Oh of man, risks. I think it goes to thirty. Like Many of those came to mind right away <laughs> because of the alcohol, right? Thank you. You're welcome.